A new line of shear bolt connectors is now available for medium voltage primary cable splicing. These connectors will eliminate the need for lead tinning or crimping in manhole and vault applications. These connectors will help reduce the use of expensive and bulky hydraulic or battery operated crimping tools in crowded manholes and improves the efficiency of crews while reducing the potential for strains and sprains as well as reducing the cost for very expensive tools. These connectors are presently available for straight line splicing as well as Y splicing using the existing heat shrink technology that's becoming the norm in the industry. There are also multi-range type allowing the replacement of various sized connectors in order to accomplish the same task with different size cables. The application of this new connector line is compatible with all types of medium voltage cables. This video will cover the cable preparation and installation of the straight and Y type connectors. For the installation of this straight type connector, prepare the cables according to the splice manufacturer's specifications. In this case, we're splicing a paper and lead cable to a solid dielectric cable. Expose the conductor on each cable to the exact length of the conductor bore. Measure from the center barrier of the connector to the edge of the connector and expose the conductor to the same dimension for each cable. On the aluminum cable, apply inhibitor then wire brush the inhibitor on the conductor. Insert each conductor and be sure that the cable insulation abuts the edge of the connector in order to prevent the SRM from flowing into any voids left in the connector. Hold the connector with eagle beak pliers or a large pair of channel locks to prevent movement of the connector during the bolt shearing process. Making sure the shear bolts are in contact with the conductor Install the shear bolt socket on your battery operated impact tool and place it on the first outboard shear bolt and this is very important. Make sure that the shoulder of the socket is always making contact with the connector body. Proceed by shearing the bolt. Repeat the process on the other side again. Making sure that you start with the first outboard shear bolt and proceed in the same order for both sides of the connector. Using a socket with a half inch drive breaker bar is also an acceptable method of shearing the bolts. Once the bolts have been sheared, abrade any sharp edges using non-conductive aluminum oxide cloth and wipe clean using a clean rag and an approved cable cleaning solvent. Mark the SRM installation length on both cables according to the manufacturer's specifications. Next. Fill the bolt holes with small plugs made from the SRM mastic to prevent voids during the heat shrinking process and apply the SRM across the connector body as specified by the splice instructions. Now let's review the Y connector installation process. As we did in the straight connector, measure the exact length of the connector bore and then expose the conductor to the same dimension for each cable. Insert each conductor and be sure that the cable insulation abuts the edge of the connector in order to prevent the SRM from flowing into any voids left in the connector. Making sure the shear bolts are in contact with the conductor, install the shear bolt socket on your battery operated impact tool and place it on the first outboard shear bolt. And again, this is very important, make sure that the shoulder of the socket is always making contact with the connector body. Proceed by shearing the bolt. Repeat the process on the other outboard bolts and work your way to the inboard bolts. It's recommended in some cases that a connector holding tool be used to hold the connector in place while shearing the bolts. Once the bolts have been sheared, abrade any sharp edges using non-conductive aluminum oxide cloth and wipe clean using a clean rag and the approved cable cleaning solvent. Mark the SRM installation length on the cables according to the manufacturer's specification Next, fill the bolt holes with small plugs made from the SRM mastic to prevent voids during the heat shrinking process and apply the SRM across the connector body as specified by the splice instructions. These new shear bolt connectors reduce the risk of injury and improve the efficiency of crews performing medium voltage primary cable splicing.